Good evening. The community here in Tustin can't seem to catch a break. There was a flare up at the hangar here in Tustin last night and then tonight again another flare up. Let me move out of the way as you can see just how intense the flames are right now. You could see the flames. You can hear the flames. You can hear the, the popping, the crackling right now uh, on top of the 17 story structure, of course, leaving many nearby residents in distress. Now, cleanup has been underway at the site of the massive hangar fire in Tustin after burst into flames last Tuesday. Since then, many neighborhood residents worry for their safety after the fire spewed toxic chemicals into the air. Lead and asbestos were detected in the air during the fire, prompting a state of emergency from officials. Hot spots reignited the World War II era blimp hangar Saturday night as firefighters monitored the burn. Schools in the Tustin Unified School District will remain closed tomorrow while environmental health experts work to determine if the public is at risk. But that's what's been frustrating for residents who live here but aren't getting any answers. They feel if the chemicals are hazardous, then there should be mandatory evacuations happening right now. I have asthma and we've been out of town with family, but coming back, you know, we've been back for maybe an hour and I'm already losing my voice, um, headache. You know, my, my mom is el elderly. She has, uh, you know, autoimmune disorder. My husband has respiratory issues. We're kind of all like high risk here. It, it's been very frustrating. Um, there's ash falling every day. You can see the fire is starting up again and um, nothing's been done for the uh, asbestos on the ground. Now, health officials are sounding the alarm, issuing a list of recommendations closing down parks. Residents told to close their windows and wear a mask when outside. If you do encounter debris on the ground, officials say do not touch it. Report it to authorities. Go online and visit Tustin CA or to get the latest information now back here live things as you can see they're still burning right now and we'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you any updates as they become available for now we're live in tustin carlos salcedo ktla 5 news yeah, it just keeps getting worse yeah, huh? quite a scene carlos well, thank you